Having been a stay-at-home mom for a number of years now, and of course I still am a stay-at-home mom, and having interacted with a number of young women who are fresh out of campus or out of college because of the nature of what we do, interacting with many of these women, some are young professionals, some are on the mission field, you know, just interacting with that category of women who are at that level of preparing for marriage, trusting the Lord for a marriage partner, going ahead and getting married. We have this reality that many of these women have to face, and I also had to face that, whether they will choose to work away from home or choose to work from home, and the implications of working from home, which many times have to do with finances and you know resources to be able to take care of the family. And that's why in today's video, I thought to just share a few of my thoughts concerning the same. You know, just throw my penny or two into the discussion, trusting that what I share would be a blessing to a woman that is listening to me and is at that crossroads of wondering, should I stay at home? Will I be able to work with one income for the family, most likely my husband's? And if I'm working from home, will I be able to raise enough finances to take care of us as a family? And I'm doing this as I am preparing breakfast and preparing a meal because uh, it happens to be a day when we are planning to leave the next day. And I thought maybe let me just share this as I share a bit of my day. We were going away for a few days. So in case you're new here, my name is Clara. A stay-at-home mom, a work-from-home mom, a mom who is passionate about matters womanhood and the woman and seeking to align to the will of God concerning the same. So you're welcome if you're new to this channel. So as you can see, I'm working on some eggs. I've just added in some salt. I've added in some cinnamon powder and gone ahead to beat my eggs. Started with my fork but realized they're not mixing really well and so went for my whisk and whisked them. I am working on French bread, you know, toasty my eye. <laughs> and of course being a stay-at-home mom now that we are talking about matters, finances and resources, usually I have found ways of working on a budget including simple things that, well, things that may look simple like eggs. I will make my toast, my eye or my French bread usually by just applying the egg on one side. Once I have applied it on one side, I will go ahead and fry it. In that pan, I'm frying three at a time with two tablespoons of cooking oil. Once I have fried on that one side, I will allow them just to toast in the same pan on the opposite side and that is enough for us because you know if I was to dip the bread into the egg it would not be enough for our family of four together with a guest that we happen to be having at this point. So basically that's how I try to work with the resources that God has given us. I know even for the mom who is working resources just tend to be limited but we tend to trust the Lord to live on a budget and I know this is the reality especially for most moms when you know you're working with one salary for example if it's your husband working and so you have to make do with what the Lord has given now that he gives us creativity to know what to do. I thought to share on this because one of the, uh, the realities most women will face as they get into the stay-at-home mom life is to be to trust the Lord to provide. And number two, number two, to trust the Lord to work within the budget that he has provided. And I know as long as I can remember, we have always trusted the Lord to work on a budget. There's a time we would even plan to just buy beef once a week as much as we liked it but just once a week in order to be able to live within our means and there's a season we will even do without that in order to live within our means and make it possible for us to be at home make it possible for us to buy our children's curriculum now that it happens to be a little costly at least from our standard but i know for some it may not be but 
So just to make sure we have what they need, to make sure we have the kind of proteins that we need. Uh, some of us who have watched me for a number of years know I do a lot of cereals, a lot of grains, just to supplement our proteins. I'm not saying that every season is like that. Sometimes the Lord can allow you to afford a little more than what you may do, but the point, the bottom line about finances and the home is learning to work within your means, learning to work with your budget. But does that mean that as a woman you can't trust the Lord to provide? Yes, you can trust the Lord to provide and you can see our bread is looking very delightful. It's usually very tasty. Sometimes you're not even aware that I have just applied it on one side. But as you can see, it always turns out very well and I'm used to working with just applying my egg on one side of my bread. After breakfast, I decided to work on some cheese. We happen to get our milk from our brother and he gives us uh, the, the larger amount of milk on Mondays and usually Mondays now I try to work on cheese, mostly mozzarella cheese. I only happen to do two, <laughs> mozzarella cheese and cream cheese uh, because my people like it and of course the other reason I have not learned how to make the other kinds of cheese and this one that I'm working on is mozzarella cheese so that it can take care of our needs of cheese. As you know again, if you were to buy cheese to mozzarella from the supermarket or store, it's quite expensive. So this is one of the ways in which, especially if you live in the countryside like I do and you have access to raw milk, you can work on your own cheese like I'm doing. And it's just fun sometimes when you're able to do some of these things from scratch. I think it just <laughs> releases those creative juices within women and just causes us to be creative you know, and innovative. Uh, as we serve the Lord. So continuing there, I'm going to put it in some of the whey, add some salt, heat it up a little, take it back in so that it can continue to stretch before transferring to some ice cold water uh, so that now I can finally store it in the freezer for future use. For the longest time, because some of you who follow me know that I run a program both online and physical where I have just called it the Formations of a Noble Woman Proverbs 31 Sessions. That means we journey through the Proverbs 31 passage with women getting to trust the Lord to work in us to be the women that he wants us to be. And one of those scriptures says that um, she considers a field and buys it, this Proverbs 31 woman that is, and out of her earnings she plants a vineyard. And then it continues to say she, she sees that her her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. Now, it's the rainy season and for most of us who are watching at this point, you know, in Kenya, it's just been crazy. And of course, pray, pray for us that the Lord will deliver us from this. But of course, you may watch this in future. But why I'm showing this is because one of the things I like to do is to go for my prayer walk, which happens to be my exercise time also, but I couldn't do that. So I just knelt down in my house and prayed and the reason why I'm keen on praying uh, is also because when I read those verses and I knew I'm we are going through this with women I really trusted the Lord that I would be practical you know share with women something that is working and the Lord just opened my eyes to what I do now part of what I do now in ministry of course on the online space as well as raising something small for towards my family and especially our hospitality needs and the needs of the home and that that's how the recipes and hospitality with clara youtube was born and that is how that youtube out of the ads that are played on the videos we are able to receive something small from youtube not a lot it doesn't even get to 10% of our needs, but it is something. And I knew that 
this was an answer to prayer because I started praying back these scriptures that I've just quoted, the ones where she makes linen garments and sells them because I wanted to also demonstrate to the women practically that you can pray and trust the Lord and he will make a way for you to be able to get something. So from the online space a little, from the blog also something trickling in it's not significant at all that one is not even one percent yet i hope in future that blog can also be able to supply towards the needs of our home as well as the needs of the ministry now that we run formations of a noble woman as a ministry wing towards women you know just ministering to women uh, so I, I know the lord is able to provide and this is the harsh truth i really wanted to share share in this video because I want you and I women to remember that when we make the choice to stay at home because we are obeying the Lord, I want you to know it's a step of faith. You don't go in because you are assured of finances. You don't go in because you you know somehow the Lord will just cause the heavens to open and of course he is able to do that but remember he wants us to trust him by faith and to provide. I'm working on chapati dough as you have seen and making uh, some of the preparations to make dengue stew. I've made a lot of chapatis over lunch hour. You see today is during the day uh, and I was working on the laptop as you saw because I was editing our book for the second edition of the Proverbs 31 Woman and once it's out you will see it linked in the description below. You can buy yourself a copy on Amazon or if you're in Kenya you will see the place where I sell it online or you could buy it physical, you know, to ha have a, a hard copy. So that's also one of the ways in which the needs of the ministry and our needs are met, one of the ways that the Lord also led. So I'm working on hot water chapati. It's also on our other channel. I will link in the description the full recipe of how I do that. So this harsh truth that many of us women have to contend with that I thought I can share candidly, especially for someone who's starting, is you must make a decision to live by faith because even when we start a venture, it's very few of us who will see results instant. Like you have heard, as much as the Lord has led me to begin some ventures on the online space, none of them has even gotten to helping us meet our needs up to 10%, like I said. Uh, and we are trusting the Lord for that to increase in future. But the hard truth of this is you can have a bright idea and you come home and you get disappointed when you don't see results. And that's why it's important for you as a woman to put your trust in the Lord and then to trust him that as he causes your venture to prosper, keep in mind, as much as it's a tough truth, keep in mind it will not blow up overnight. <laughs> you know, not many of us will have viral things. You know, the Lord wants us to learn to wait on him. The Lord wants us to learn to walk with him by faith until he comes through and provides for us. And so we come with that, knowing that not that we are not trusting the Lord, we are trusting him and he will make a way for you to perhaps have that business and thrive, but it will take time. I think this is what uh, our generation has not, we haven't learned this truth of learning to wait, you know, because everything is instant and we feel even finances will be instant, but it takes time. Now, as you see, I like to work on my chapati for uh, three pounds at a time just to save on time. And you can also learn to do that. And in between the cooking, I get to roll out my chapatis really fast, making sure at least I have three to four pieces on the table so that I can go faster. So I keep doing this until I finish. And I love to do this because when I've made those chapatis with four cups of water, not four cups of flour because that is very little chapati, four cups of water, 
Now you can be sure this can take a long time if I was using just one pan. And beside there, I'm also working on my dengu that I had started boiling on the fire, but I got busy and so just decided to finish the outside fire, you know, <laughs> with firewood, because that also saves. I decided to finish in my pressure cooker so that we could have our lunch. And I'm making a lot of chapati, like I said, we are leaving. And so that means we have... Uh, chapati for lunch, for supper, and for lunch before we leave. I'm giving my family the same meal, but I realized we are getting busy packing and all that. So this is just what I wanted to share with us because sometimes it's harsh truths and yet very real, especially as you come at home. And I know God will open your mind to many other ventures. I have done cake decoration and sold cakes. I have done beads and sold them. But I realize that a lot of the things I have chosen to do at home can be time consuming. And now that we serve the Lord among young people, I realized that the Lord just opened my eyes and led me. That's a long story. Perhaps I'll share in a future video, but just led me to the online space where I'm able to minister to others as the Lord enables me. So keep in mind that it won't be instant, you know, as you trust the Lord to supply to you as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, and uh, trust the Lord to live by faith, and then trust the Lord to live within your means. And I know the Lord is going to make a way for you. You can pray like I did the Proverbs 31 verses. And I know you will see the Lord intervene because his will is to provide for us, but he wants us to know him. Uh, however tough the process of knowing him is, but he wants us to walk by faith as we get to know him. So thank you so much for joining for me for today's video. I trust it's been a blessing. So we will pray as is always our custom as we finish. Father, please be with me and my viewer and grant that you will be glorified, especially as women, as we trust you to live by faith, to live within our means, to trust you to provide, to trust you for ventures that will be profitable for your glory. I pray that you will be with us ministering to each woman according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.